8 ways to fix share of play not working on iOS 15. Update your iPhone. Open the iPhone settings app. Go to general settings. Tap on software update at the top. Wait while the iPhone searches for updates. If found any, tap on download and install. Check if share play is turned on. Open the settings app. Scroll down and tap on FaceTime. Tap on share play. Make sure share play is turned on. If not, next to share play, toggle the switch to enable the feature. Restart iPhone. The next thing you should do is restart your device. The restart will eliminate minor setting issues and reset the background, which can interfere with share play. Check if the app supports share play. Check as if share play doesn't work at all or only with a specific app. If you're experiencing issues with share play on an app, try to use the feature with another app. If you conclude that SharePlay works with everything except that one app, check if the app supports the feature and check your subscription. Re-enable FaceTime. Open the iPhone settings app. Scroll down and go to FaceTime. Next to FaceTime, toggle the slider to disable the feature. Wait for a few seconds and enable FaceTime again. Sign out and back into FaceTime. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on FaceTime, then tap on your Apple ID name under the Caller ID options. It should be in blue. When a quick menu appears, tap on Sign Out, wait for a few seconds and sign back in by entering your Apple ID credentials. Check your internet connection. On iPhones with Face ID, swipe down from the top right corner. On iPhones with a Home button, swipe up from the middle bottom. In the Control Center, Locate the Wi-Fi or cellular data icon and tap on it to disable the network. Wait for a few seconds and enable the internet again. Reset network settings. Go to your device settings. Tap on general. Scroll to the bottom and tap on transfer and reset iPhone. Then tap on reset and select reset network settings. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The disk cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.